The cross kiss is actually in a lake, so it's pretty strange and everything is like dried out. Sometimes there are like dead fishes on the ground and everything. Flat out, I'm gonna go flat out. Just keep the wheels turning <laughs> and flat out. Alfredo Gomez riding tips at the cross test. Don't fall. Got the cam out. So normally the water is until there. It's crazy. I'm a little bit scared, I'm to be honest. You, Tony? Yeah. Uh, not like an itchy nipple. <laughs> I'm just, I've been walking around like this. I've been doing this. Wow, super test looks sick. It's proper motocross track. They watered it, they prepped it. Check this out, guys. That's actually my next car. Alfredo, is it your next car? Yeah, I love it. Love it. This should be how a track looks like. Perfect dirt. If they still water it, it's gonna be such a good super test. And some good ruts, good lines. Whee! Bad knee. You ever heard of Bob the Builder? Bolts the Builder. The doctor said no riding. I just want to ride, I can't stop thinking about it. So, get your hands dirty, put an extension on the back of the house. One of my friends is coming round tomorrow and we're digging the foundations out. So, distraction techniques, because otherwise, I'm going to end up going on my bike. Anyway, I've got work to do. Ta ra. which was really nice with all the fans around. We will do the super test only today for eight laps and then we're actually finished on Friday and then the actually race starts more. So it's like a pre-event. I'm excited and we'll go full mode cross mode onto the gate, 10 people just racing against the other guys. How dusty it is. Wow. Everything is just dust as hell. So it's gonna be a crazy dusty weekend, and the test will be pretty difficult because you can't see where you're going. Morning, race day, 8 a.m. in the morning. We're about to start. Yesterday's super test was a ride, I would say. I'm happy, finished 14th overall. Made a little mistake, and the test was so hard to pass. So, hopefully, it's a little bit better today. Hey, <laughs> Good morning. I've got an, um, an old Krapovich exhaust silencer to repair. It's done so many hours, did La Treff. Last year, I think it did Erzberg as well. Uh, so it looks pretty good after Erzberg, to be fair. <laughs> I want a spare one in the van, so this one needs needs repacking and servicing. So I'm gonna walk you through it. If you're interested, stay tuned. Let's get cracking. First, reasons for repacking exhaust are generally service it, age, water, so constantly washing. It should dry out a little bit as well, but that's not. It's not always easy. Oil in the packing, it's general servicing. Don't overlook it. If you're on a four stroke, don't take your baffle out. It doesn't sound good, it sounds horrible. All right? 
and then you'll not have these <coughs> cough stalls as well. It's all meant to be there, so leave it alone. And if you're that fast, get a motocross bike and go motocrossing. Right, first, right size drill bit for this. Don't go too big on your drill. 3.2, all you want it to do is drill the head off the rivet so then you can get it out later. If you drill it, over drill it, then you're gonna, you're gonna take away metal from the inside. And if you do that, when you put your rivets in later, you're not gonna have anything to rivet to. So don't be a duck egg, get the right size uh, drill bit. It will be in the instructions that you get when you get the packing from a crap of itch. Last one. That's off. Remember which way it goes. Now, I'm gonna get two cable ties to put through these. When I start banging the pipe, I don't lose the, rub the grommets. Nice wooden hammer, a little bit of cloth behind it in there, and then just taped up. What we wanna do is we wanna hit the pipe here and it forces out the end cap. Way. And not even a little dent. Woo! That's the as hell. The tests are so loose. I crashed one time, lost some seconds, but felt pretty good at the end. Now we're going into the extreme test and straight offwards into the cross test. So I think it's gonna be pretty hard now for the body. And afterwards we have like a long layer saw, which is pretty dusty. You can see probably in my face. So now, Need to drill these ones out and we can pull out the whole can. Just pop it through. Now I need to bang this one out this way now. There we go. All the packing should just all slide out like that. Voila. Hello. So now I need to get rid of the old packing. If this was blocked, you'd need to use like a hot pressure washer or some chemical soap on here to make sure all these holes are clean, but this is not so bad at all. See the small pop rivet end? Yeah, that was to in there. Make sure they're not in there. Is the piston rattling? Wing, wing, what's that? Oh, I must have broke a ring. Oh no, no I've not, no it wasn't, just that. All right, I'm off for a brew. Pack in. <whistles> Itchy stuff this. Let's get this party started. Wrap the packing around. Round and round and round. Don't go mad tight. Trim it off. We should be able to squeeze it into that section there. So a bit of masking tape. Just one quick layer just to hold it in place. Let's see if this will slide over now. Make sure it's the right way. Yeah. Just try to line them up as best you can. Then end can down. Yeah. And use your mallet again. Good. That's all riveted in back nicely. Lovely job. We're going to get that inside bit onto the section in the side. We just need a bit more packing in this section. Tail pipe, make sure it's on the right way. Make sure the pipe goes in in the middle. Feeling in the inside there before I go crazy. And it's on. It's actually in. So now it's just a case of getting the rivets lined up again. 
start. New stickers come in the kit as well. If you have a heat gun, or one of these. That'll be the brake cleaner on the rag, so it will. Ready to play a tune. Top the boss on Gaza. Yeah! Way too early. We're about to start in like 15 minutes. Yesterday. Good day for everybody. Hey, the boys smoked the other guys. Garcia especially, he was on fire. He took us maybe 40 seconds. On to Nathan, he got second. Johnny Fur, me fourth, Teddy fifth. Brilliant day. I was surprised with my myself because I thought I uh, top 15 would be great with all them four Spanish guys, but at the end, fourth, I'm blessed. So hopefully we can have also a good run today. We will do one less round lap that it was planned because it was such a long day yesterday so I'm happy about this only six tests again and the super test so it should be fine and we are ready to go into the dust now everything is still fresh Welcome to England. The winter's finally here. Out for a mountain bike ride, keeping my legs strong. Loving it. It's a bit demotivating though when the weather's like this, but the boys are out in Sultana. They're gonna be ripping around the track right now. Who's gonna take it? I would say Garcia, just because I think he had a point to prove after Hawkstone, so I reckon he can do it. Don't forget Manny had a wicked ride in Hawkstone, so maybe he's got the speed now. I'm gonna rip down this now and uh, have a good day out anyway, and keep this leg building that muscles. Oh my God. Dropping in. <laughs> a little bit like a Romania's drop. So now for some climbs, less of the fun stuff and more of the leg building. So we're gonna go all the way up to this little tower here. And if you're into history, it was a beacon when big ships came. Because obviously from here, you can actually see the sea. So it goes over to Ireland and uh, it would light up this one if somebody was invading us from there on the British Isles. And uh, then they'd light up another beacon somewhere else. And then another one, another one. And it was uh, the early WhatsApp group that you needed to be in. Well, another day on the island that we call home. Thank you, rainy England. We love you. So I'm gonna go back now, check out the Solsana results. Let's go and check in with Manny.
racing enduro finally over. Super Desk was great, finished 4 4 roll now. Boys were killing it, Johnny got third, big sauna second, and little sauna won. So it's, it's pretty impressive. He, I think he beat us over a minute, so he was on fire. Full gas, full gas. Ah! A big sauna, congratulations! Oh, good luck! It's over! It's, it's over. over! We made it! Wow. Finally, huh? Seven down, one to go. Seven down, one to go. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the Nuts and Bolton vlog again. If you want to see more action from Wes, just go on the Red Bull Motorsport channel. Check out all the highlights. There's some good stuff. Please stay tuned and have fun because I had fun and we'll see us next time. Ciao guys! Mm -hmm.